Hi, my name's Gwyn Richards. I'm a supply chain consultant and trainer with Apprise Consulting Limited. Welcome to this short informative video from our How To Logistics online series. In this episode, we show you how to produce decision tables. A decision matrix analysis is used for making decisions, such as choosing between different suppliers, especially where there are multiple criteria, not just cost. Also, if there are a number of stakeholders involved, different departments within the company, for example. So how do we go about putting together a decision table? Well, in step one, we list all of the suppliers who are involved in the process, i.e. quoting for the service that you require. In step two, we discuss and list all of the factors that you need to consider to make the final decision. In step three, we give each factor a weighting in terms of its importance to the company. One for doesn't meet minimum requirements and five where that particular factor exceeds our requirements. Step four, we give each supplier a score based on the criteria. In step five, we multiply the supplier score by the factor weighting. Step six, we add up all of the scores. And in step seven, we choose the supplier with the highest rating, or maybe we shortlist the top two suppliers for further discussion. This is an example of a decision table for choosing a warehouse management system. We can see the criteria on the left hand side, so software as a standard function, the ability to customize the software, the ability to interface with maybe the ERP system that we're utilizing. Do they supply the hardware? Is it a radio frequency system? What kind of development and implementation service do they provide? What about their annual support and maintenance cost? Also, can they provide a warehouse management system across multiple sites? So here we've got a weighting. So we've actually looked at the importance of each of those criteria. And then we have our four vendors and each vendor is given a rate so, for example, vendor one, software as a standard function, we've given them a score of three. Three times 25, which is the weighting, gives us a total score of 75. And we do that for each of the criteria and each of the vendors. Once we've completed the table, we look at the total score and we can see here that vendor three is by far the most suitable vendor to choose and therefore we would go with that particular company to supply the warehouse management system thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the content if you want more information on a prize consulting our online courses books training and consultancy services please visit our website at www.apriseconsulting.co.uk.